But the good thing about these is say you've got a record, you can actually print it off, give the customer a copy, and that's your proof to say you've done it right and the thing is right. When you do print it out, it's got a time and date as well. So that's the yeah, that's proof that you've got it, exact date and exact, exact time it was done. Any name, any address? Yeah, you, what you can do, there's a, there's a column at the top that's got customer's name, customer address, and then they've got to sign it to say they've accepted it. You can email them with the copy you've yeah, got from as well, yeah? yeah? Two minutes. All right, two minutes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's actually gone up by 14, but we're not looking at that, that's fine. We're yeah. perfect on that. It's just one millibar if it went, that's what if you're it, talking about. If that was to go minus one, one bar, then anything, yeah. I'd start looking around, you know, even at 1.5, uh, point five. Point five. Okay, it yeah. should, you know, a good 0.01, no, right. If you if that was to go one of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 yeah, what's you know, even though you're allowed four millibar, I'd I'd start to look around and say, well, you know, there's something in this here. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, if you've got to do this, if this is connected, you must open that lid there. All right. So you need to check what appliances you've got there, and if there's a cutter, cooker with a with a lid like that. Otherwise, that that acts as a safety valve and it shuts off the gas to all the taps. So that's not being checked. So, but if, if there was a leak, that's the first thing you do, start looking at appliances, isolate them down one at a time, and then if the pressure starts, if you stop to drop it, then you know, that's probably what the problem is. Okay, all right. Right, so what we've got there, so we're quite happy. So tick, mm -hmm. and then it's got their pass, there's a printer. Into the law, the lock yeah. store. Okay, and then, okay, and that's that.